hi thanks for dropping in this is my June wrap-up sale I kind of dropped the ball on doing what sold videos and I don't know I might do some going forward you never know um, so I thought I would just do an overall June what sold video with just basically highlights I'm going to share how many items I've sold on what platforms and then my Baker's Dozen sales of $30 or more and then the item that sold for the least amount this month and a sloth. I call it a sloth. Basically, it's an item that's been in my closet forever um, that I'm just really happy to be rid of. Uh, if it looks like I'm in front of a, a wind machine, I am. I'm in front of the fan is blowing on me because I'm in Vegas and it's hot. Um, hopefully it's not too loud or too annoying. So it is actually June 30th afternoon. So these are my totals for June. If I make any more sales today, I'll just adjust the numbers and, and write it somewhere. Um, I know that people talk about the, Ju the summer slowdown. And I don't know if that just affects closets that are busier than mine because my what I sell in a month would be considered horrible for, for many sellers, full-time sellers and, you know. But I've only been keeping track of this since January and I am the last, I think, three weeks. I was, I was, I was setting a goal of three to five items a day to list and now I'm basically trying to do five a day. I'm really working hard on trying to improve things. So this month, my total sales were 59 sales. Um, that's actually more sales. I've been keeping track since January. That is the most sales I've made in one month. Um, not by a, lo a lot, but still. Um, and it's my second best month in terms of uh, revenue. So... I don't know, like I said, maybe summer slowdown just really affects people that are very busy. Um, and since I would be considered slow for most, it just stays that way. I'm definitely hoping to improve my sales, the, the amount I sell, and of course the revenue. I'd like to double it, frankly. I'd like to make a, about 100 item sales uh, a month. Um, they weren't all unique sales. There were a few bundles. I had a bundle of four, which is, like, I think, the best I've, I've had. Um, so 48 of those sales were on Poshmark, eight were on Mercari, and three were on eBay. Now, I have only a small portion of my items on eBay, and I'm trying to push myself to add more. I did add two this morning. Um, there is a free cross-listing app that I use. If you're interested in that, uh, just comment below and I can, or I, I'll try to remember to just add the link. Um, and it works between Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay. So when I list on Poshmark, I copy and paste and do Mercari at the same time. And then I usually use, um, well, it's called Resell Kit. There you go. Now I don't have to worry about it. And I usually use that to then move it over to eBay. Um, I'm also listing a few things on shop thrilling so that's again when i'm like today i posted a vintage jessica mcclintock gown so i did it at the same time so it's really quick um i do need to do some listing on etsy which i haven't done in forever okay so let's jump in to the the baker's dozen uh all 30 or more dollars uh, we are going to start with let's see i i thought i was being organized um so I'm not sure I'm going in the right order, but I sold a pair of Echo sandals. These are ECCO men's leather sandals. I picked these up about three weeks ago. I believe that somebody made me an offer on these for 34, which I took, or they may have made a lower offer and I countered. I can't remember, but I get $27.20 on these. The next item is this Nakona belt. Oh, I love this belt. I'm glad it was a large and way too big on me. Um, and beautiful rhinestones. I, I believe it was new or never worn, I should say, because um, you know how when you use a 
felt a few times. You can tell which hole has been used. Uh, it did not look like it was used at all. It's beautiful rhinestones, just a really, really beautiful belt. That sold on Mercari for 30, so I got 25, I think 25, 20, something like that for that one. Then uh, this next item is, this is a, a purple St. John shirt. St. John, not St. John's Bay. I've had it listed for quite a while um, and really didn't get much interest. And if I had like a job in an office or something, I would probably have wanted to keep it. Um, this sold for 35, so I got 28. This dress is made by April Cornell. Based on the tags, I would say she's like a, a sells in a boutique like maybe she has her own boutique I don't even know I did find a stock photo of it it was called the Gatsby dress which I think was really appropriate beautiful dress sheer on the outside with a coordinating lining and uh, did I just say it's the Gatsby dress which aptly named and that sold for 42 I was really pleased about that because it wasn't new with tag I don't remember if it said how much it originally was but it being a brand that I don't know if many people have heard of um, I was pleased to to, to uh, sell it for that there was a shipping discount involved so I made thirty two dollars and ten cents on it this next sale was on eBay and it was a full price sale and they paid for shipping so this is a free people tank it says Las Vegas on it I got a few likes on it but nothing nothing too serious sent offers nothing so when this sold full price out of the blue I was quite pleased um, so that was uh, I got thirty dollars and ninety five cents I can't remember if I had a, had that listing promoted if I did it was probably just two percent um, that's pretty much what I do though the ones I did today I think I did three or four percent I'm just gonna like try things see what happens and then uh, this is a Betsy Johnson bag. Look how cute that is. It's called the Be a Deer bag. I picked this up at a yard sale that benefited an animal rescue. Um, and I actually picked up two Betsy Johnson bags. The other one was the bow bag or something like that. And it sold fairly quickly. So I definitely made my money on everything that I bought there. Cause it was kind of like, I want all this. And they said, okay, how much do you want to give us? Um, so this sold for 40 and I got 32. This next item sold in, let's see, I listed it on June 22nd and it sold on June 27th. So that was a fast flip. And it was in my house a lot longer than that because it's a men's suit. And I, some things are just kind of seem like a big hurdle um, to take photos of, though ultimately I've got it worked out that it's not that difficult, it's just in my head. Um, so this was, this was closet clear out method. I offered it to them at 50 with uh, the 4.99 shipping provided by Poshmark. Um, so I, they said yes, and I got 40 out of it. So I was very pleased with that. Let's see. Um, okay, so, oh, let's do the dance goes. I'm kind of going out of order price wise. Uh, these dance goes were also a bit of a sloth. They've been in my closet for a long time. In fact. I can't say because I never even, I can't even find it on my inventory list. Oh wait, I did find it. It's gotta be a year. It does. Anyway, these sold for, I made an offer to Liker, so there was a little shipping discount involved. I do the 595, because I really, I would rather give no shipping discount and give a better price on the item because of the whole fee situation. But anyway, so this sold for 35 with a shipping discount. So I got $26.50 on that um there is a three-way two-way two-way now let's yeah i had two three items sell for thirty dollars for thirty dollars this first one is a pantsuit it was new a tag le suit i don't know if all the suit is vintage i don't know if they still make le suit but there was a period of time where i would trip over le suit suits at the thrift store um this was a closet clear out method also. So this went for 30 and I got 24 for it. And I was very pleased with that. Nice suit, beige, has sort of like 
a, a striping in the fabric. It's a textural striping as opposed to the, the, the actual color. Next up is these Anu shoes, A-H-N-U shoes. Now this almost was a big, uh-oh. Um, I bought a pair of Anu shoes at a yard, no, at an estate sale. They're kind of a burgundy, like walking or hiking shoe. Um, and I had checked the comps. I had looked them up while I was there and it turned out it's a pretty decent shoe. So I picked it up and then a while later I found these black ones and I bought those. Well, when I saw that I had sold Anu shoes, I completely forgot that I had bought that second pair. So I boxed up the burgundy ones. I set it outside because I, I had a pickup scheduled. And then I happened to be going through my closet for some reason, maybe I was sharing, and I'm like, oh, wait, I'm another pair of Anu shoes. And it was the wrong shoe. Whew, crisis averted. Uh, okay, next is this All Saints jacket. This jacket sold for 60. Now I had it up for, for I think 100. I fully intended to take a big, a big, uh, uh, give a big discount on that. I just decided to shoot high. The guy offered me 60 and he actually messaged me that he was sorry it was so low. He understood if I don't take it, he said, but he's, this jacket was a large and he normally wears an extra large, but he really liked it. So he wanted to take a chance with it, but that's kind of why he went with 60. I ended up taking it because honestly it got very little attention. It might've got a couple of likes, nothing much. So I would have ended up lowering the price at some point anyway. And so I got 48 on that. Very happy with that. And then my highest price item this month is this Montana West Trinity Ranch um, handbag. It, it nice black leather, so clean. I got this at a another animal thing. It was a like a yard sale for an animal sanctuary. And I just bundled up like six or seven items and they said, just make an offer. I, I, I don't know where to go with that. Uh, I may, I, especially because it's animals and like if I am giving to charity, it, it's animals. So I didn't want to go too low. Um, but again, I mean, I'm buying for, to make money. I, I can't, I can't, you know, way overpay. So anyway, I made an offer, he took it and I've, I've already made my money back just on this, but I, sold another like vintage bag just like last week from that one um anyway this is uh trinity ranch is a branch of montana west i believe that they seem to have a lot of concealed carry bags and this may have been a concealed carry bag but i didn't say so um only because i i found a few listings for it and one of them did call it a concealed carry and there was this little pocket that but it seems so small, like maybe you could conceal carry pepper spray in it. I don't know, unless they make petite guns. Anyway, I didn't mention it. And uh, it, was, it was beautiful. It was, it was in new condition, though I never say that. Um, if it's new with tag, I say new with tags. If it's not, I don't say that it's new. I don't know the history of this piece. I don't know the provenance. I don't know that it's brand new. I know there was not a crumb or anything to suggest it had been used but I'd rather them get it and be extra pleased. In fact, I forgot to mention this one item. I thought this was the last item. And this item also looked new. I didn't say it. And her love note was, it's brand new. Um, so this one also sold for 30. Wait, did I do the Montana West? It sold for 62. Um, and, and that was with the closet clear out method. So I got 49.60. Uh, super happy with that. Uh, so actually the last item is this Skulls London top. It's a heavy denim, like not the kind of denim, denim that was pre-washed. It's kind of like old fashioned denim. That's like, if you went to Joanne's to buy denim, you know, you'd get this. Um, and I, it reminded me of a caftan. I mean, it did have sleeves, but it was very boxy. So, oh, excuse me. Oh. So you kind of had to put your arms down to give it some shape. I had looked it up on on Poshmark. I only found two items by this brand and they were, apparently it's a designer from London who's in California now. Um, and the two items I found, one had sold and one hadn't sold, but they were pants, but like ugly pants. Um, but they still were pretty high priced. So I ended up 
selling it for 30 and I got 24. It had, uh, I called it one size fits most because it had no size in it and both the pair of pants that I saw by this brand said one size fits most. How you ever could say that about a pair of pants, I don't know. But I guess maybe that's their thing. So those are the highlights of my higher priced items. The lowest priced item, and it was a it was close because there was a pair of Gloria Vanderbilts that I sold pants that I sold for twelve dollars on eBay. But this, um, due to fees and everything, was even less. Um, it's this um, Victoria's Secret pink buffalo plaid top. And the reason why I sold it so cheaply is um, not that it would have gone high, but when I got it home, I noticed the white under the arms had like looked green. Like maybe they got sweaty while wearing a green jacket. Um, and I scrubbed and scrubbed. I couldn't get rid of it. I may have lightened it a bit. So I debated putting it in the yard sale pile. Um, I could even have worn it because it really wasn't noticeable when you wear it. But I don't really wear things that say, you know, pink. Plus, I'm, I'm, I, want, I want to make my money. Um, so I ended up selling it for 12, which means I got 905. So we still made money on it. And I'm happy with that. And then uh, bonus item is my sloth. It is this Bowden white moto jacket. I have had, I can't tell how long I've had it because I have relisted it. So I can't do that trick of opening the picture in another window. Um, but it's been in my closet for over a year. I know that. Really nice jacket, got likes, sent offers, nothing. Um, it fit me and I would have been tempted to keep it, but it's white. I wouldn't make it out the door before I spilled something on it or got it dirty. And it's also, you know, it's white. I mean, the season to wear a white jacket here is too hot to wear a jacket. So, um, I was very happy to send that on its merry way. I sold that for, what did I sell that for? $24. And I believe there was a shipping discount involved, so total of 1920. So that is the wrap up of my June. Um, I don't know. I might try to do a weekly what sold video next month. You never know. I had I had been doing them, but then the sales kind of dragged for a while, and it didn't seem worth a video. And then I waited too long, and it was too many things. So this. So this is what I chose to do for June, and it might be what I do for August too. I really don't have all, I, don't, I just don't wanna focus that much time on, on something like a what's old video. And frankly, I think haul videos are more what people are interested in. I watch what's old videos because I think it's important for me to see that stuff, but I would rather watch a haul video. I love watching haul videos. I appreciate it if you have stayed here, stayed with me for this almost 20 minute video. Please subscribe if you like this kind of content. Um, you can hit the thumbs up, and if you hit the bell when you subscribe, then you will be notified when I release a new video. As always, say hi in the comments, share your channel if you have one, um, and that is it for now. I will see you on the next one.